All right guys, what's going on? So today I'm actually gonna run the 16 injectors through the tester. As far as the test goes, I'm gonna try to run them as close as possible. 20 seconds, same pressure. Then I'm gonna be documenting the flow from each injector and then writing it down on a list and then I'm gonna be keeping them in a bag. I got a bunch of bags, mark them one through 16. So I'm gonna run the test, get the reading, put the injector in the bag, probably with a post-it note or write it on the bag, how well it flowed. And then at the end, I'll go through and find the closest ones. So I got the bench all set up, ready to go, bags laid out, bags one through four right there, rest of the injectors laid out, post-it note, and I'm just gonna keep kind of like a master list right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do one through four and then put the new injectors in, one through four, mark them in there, I'm gonna write down the flow on the post-it note, put it in, the, in there with the bag, and then I'll also write the number down on the master list. Okay, so the results of the test are in. I have them all kind of lined up in the bags, all marked. These are laid out here because the injectors are still in the rail. Here's all the numbers. So down here, I put the totals. I have six at 165, one at 175, two at 185 at 170, and then these other two guys here. So the majority of them were 165 and 170. So I'll be able to build a full set out of that. 165 and 170, that's only a 3% difference. So what I'm probably gonna do is take the six at 165, and then I'll take two of the 170s and I'll put them in cylinders seven and cylinder eight. Because seven and eight are the rear two cylinders, they usually do get a little bit warmer inside the engine, and these are the, the two rears. So number seven, and this is like this on the car intake also, the number seven is the, the rearmost cylinder and in the intake. So this is, especially with boost, is gonna be seeing uh, a lot more air and probably a little bit warmer in this section here. So it could be totally wrong, but that's at least my theory on it is the, especially with a boosted application, it's forcing all that air into the intake and it's kind of getting trapped in the back and there's a lot more air getting forced to the rear two cylinders, especially number seven. So it's gonna lean it out a little bit and it's gonna be a little bit warmer than the other cylinders. In combination with the, the heat that's already inside of the cylinder from the cooling system, the LS engines are kind of notorious for having the number seven piston melt. Hopefully we'll prevent that by putting a little bit more fuel in the back. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, that thing, I might not use it anymore now that I got the first batch tested. If I do use it again, I'm probably gonna do a couple more uh, safety modifications to it. I don't feel like it's really the safest rig. So it works, it gets the job done, but it's probably not the safest way to do it. So a couple things that I'm thinking about doing is extending the switches so they're farther away so you can run it while you're not standing with your face by it, uh, just in case something would happen. And possibly separating the battery and everything from the injectors completely separated and take the thing outside. I don't think it's probably, probably not the best idea to do it in here. So this is a disclaimer. If you do this thing, I'm not responsible for it. Thanks for watching, have a good one.